Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the docs going over the Nest section. The Nest component is going to simulate nested collections for as many collections that you have on the page. At the time of this video recording, Webflow only allows for one nested collection per page. For some sites, this works without an issue. For some sites, you absolutely need two collections on the page and each of those collections needs a nested collection. That is not possible right now. So we built the nest component so you can simulate nested collections for any amount of collections on the page. And we don't even need to use one single nested collection. Let's see how this works. The very first thing we have to understand is that this requires double data entry. We are going to be adding multi-reference fields as expected. Multi-reference items are going to be added to your item as you would normally do with any type of CMS item. We're also going to add a multi-reference plain text field that will be the exact same thing as your official field. So we have the official field, we have the plain text field, the plain text field is comma separated. So advertising, marketing for our official field, and then the plain text field is advertising, comma, marketing. This comma separated plain text list is going to act as an ID or a key to go and grab the real multi-reference items that we want inside of our collection list. Now let's get into the code and see how this works. We're in the code. If you have not seen the Get Started video, please back up, check that out where we go into this in a bit more detail. We're going to first run a function and we're going to create a new instance of the FN Suite CMS library. This instance will be targeted at our blog post lists. And that is going to be stored in a variable called custom blog posts. In this example, in the nest component, this is important we have two collection lists on the page. This needs to be the visible collection. It's not going to be the collection that holds our multi-reference items. We're going to go over this nest component and the nest options. Before I go too far into that, let's go down to the HTML classes and structure so we can understand what these classes are, where they are in our structure and what they mean. In the HTML and class setup section, we have a screenshot of Inspector. This is a live working example of the Nest component. We have two collection lists here on the page. One collection list will be our visible collection list, and it's our blog post list collection. This is where we are running our instance of the FN Suite CMS library. We also have another collection on the page which is going to hold our multi-reference items. So if we want to go and search by service and get that marketing and get that advertising, that's where these are going to live. It's going to be a collection of our marketing advertising services, and it's going to list all of them here. What we are going to do is use our text of categories list as an ID to take the correct nest category links up to our multi-ref target. If that didn't make sense to you, don't worry, I'm going over it step by step. Text of the categories list is going to be the class that we apply to this element. Advertising comma marketing is going to be inside of our collection list. And that is going to be our text list text of categories list. This is the plain text comma separated list that we're going to use as this ID and key. Again, this must go inside of our blog post list. This is the visible list. Inside of this same list, we also have our multi ref target div. The multi ref target div is going to be where we paste in the nest category links. It's where we are going to put our tags, or multi-reference items, whatever you want to call them, they're going to go in this location. That is our nest target, multi-ref target. 
And the last one is nest source. The source is where is the source of the multi reference items, marketing, advertising, they live inside this collection. And this collection is our nest multi reference collection. Nest multi reference collection. So let's now go over this one more time as we now know each of these classes. What's going to happen is the library is going to read what you have in your comma separated list. It's going to say, I see marketing, I see advertising. It's then going to look inside the Nest multi reference collection list and it's going to get every item that it finds that matches. It's going to then paste each item that matches into our multi ref target. So if I have marketing comma advertising, it's going to get the Nest category link marketing, bam. And then it's going to get the one that says advertising, bam. Nice. Please note that we have set this up for it to take the direct child of the collection item. You can have any type of information here. We are essentially copy and pasting. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be a map component. It could be a piece of text. It could be a link. It could be a whole section. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be taking them and pasting them here in our multi ref target. This is a great example. And we go through this in the how to because we are going to link items to their category page. So if you have a category that's marketing or advertising, you want somebody to be able to click through to the marketing to the advertising tags page. The whole thing is going to be pasted over the nest category link with the connected URL with the icons inside with the text inside everything is going to be pasted up in the multi ref target. Great. That's how this works. And this is the code that supports it. We have our nest component, we have our text list that's holding all the comma separated items. We have the nest source, we have the nest target. This is really easy to do once you understand how it works. If you're a little bit lost here, do not worry. Go to the how to go to the clonable check this out. We're going to go through it step by step in a live implementation and show you it working. That's effing sweet.